to use one of the charts, locate the at Final Cut Pro Help category under the Generators tab. Then, drag the desired chart onto your timeline. These charts are generators, and as such, they act like video clips. So you can place it above your other video, and the chart will appear on top of the video. Use the inspector to modify the look of the chart. You can change things such as the donut hole size on this template. We can turn on or off the labels. In the top right corner, you'll have a total label there. You can also turn off or on the percentage labels and choose where their position are from the center of that donut hole. And in this case, we're comparing search trends from dogs versus cats. So we only need two categories. So adjust the donut slice size to match your data. In this case, we have about 70% for our dog searches and 30% for cats. Sorry to all you cat lovers out there. And after making those adjustments, we can see our chart in the viewer here. After reviewing the data there, I don't really want these percentage labels, so I can uncheck that box. If desired, scroll down and you can change the font and color that's being used for each of those slices. So if this neon green isn't to your liking, click that green box and then choose your color. You can even use the little eyedropper here to select a color from your video. Maybe I want the, the tongue color there. I can select that, make it a little bit brighter or make an adjustment here in our colors. Each of the parameters that have the keyframe button to the right of the parameter means you can adjust those over time. So if we want our chart to animate onto the screen into this position, I'll drag my playhead about a second or two into that clip. And I'm gonna add a keyframe, both to the donut slice one and two. And I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this clip and drag these numbers down to zero. So I want the animation to build over time. And that's it, if I play this back, I can see a render of that animation with those slices coming on. You can repeat those steps for the other charts in the pack, and I'll show you a couple other examples here. This is the pie chart being used, and you can see the animation, in addition to animating those pie slices, also animates the numbers that are inside as it's growing up, which is kind of nice. And for this one, I've actually added multiple keyframes, which you can use Control V to show your video animation. And notice here's the pie chart, and I added multiple keyframes to the pie slice number one here, where it represents, in this case, the dog's color, the blue color here. And I did that so that as this chart is growing, it seems like the data is a lot closer in the beginning, and then as we get further on, then we see the uh, percentage for the dogs takes off. So you can adjust each slice individually and how it animates onto the screen. Again, these are generators, so you can add transitions to them. In this case, I just used a cross dissolve, but you can add any transition you want to those clips. And here we'll see one more example of the column chart in action. And you can see those two sides are growing over time to present that data on the screen. Each of these templates can be customized between one and 12 categories. This is version 1.0, and we plan to make additional features available in future versions. Leave a comment with the features you want added, or send us a message on instagram.com slash finalcutprohelp, or an email to finalcutprohelp at me.com.